the forehead of your robot. Bored with what I see every day, I wanted to try out something new. I watch a lot of shows these days, more than I used to before. But one show in particular that's one of my most favorites that I've been watching since day one would be none other than Family Guy. That show has always been a part of my daily life ever since I was five. Then I got a message from a friend telling me they're gonna be having a sleepover in a week. Not only will there be extra popcorn and my friend is making noodles, but that the main focus of the night will be a family guy marathon. I went over to the sleepover, and after setting up everything we went into the kitchen to make all of the food before we started the family guy marathon. I used this special kind of butter that I imported from Germany that made the popcorn taste way better, and it spread on better than typical store butter. Then we all went upstairs into Rod's room and we started watching all of the episodes. We watched about like 20 episodes all night. Eventually we saw an ad come up on Netflix saying there is a secret episode and that you have to find it in order to see it. So we tried looking all over here you and no luck. Eventually we decided to look it up on YouTube to see if that would help. That didn't help either. Not even people on Reddit even knew there was a secret episode of the series. So we decided to go, well even deeper to find this since we did at least see on some 2000s blog about the existence of it. Pretty soon we went into the dark web using my VPN and started to look further. Eventually we stumbled across a very basic HTML website that clearly looks like it was from the 90s that has family guy memorabilia, and when we were looking, we stumbled across a video titled, Brian's Flea Screech, and it said it was made between 2011 and 2012. We all instantly knew this was the secret episode they were referring to. So we downloaded it, and I ran my antivirus software in case it might do something to my life. After it had been downloaded, we turned off all the lights so we can see this better. I've seen most of the Family Guy episodes and I have never even knew about this particular one. Not even any of the creators of the time or even Seth MacFarlane said anything about it. The episode didn't have the intro. All it had was piano music that was even though sounding sad, it was a little off. Then a voice in an old cell phone filter started saying something. It didn't really sound audible enough, but I think it was possibly saying. The weights of internal justice. And this is what it's gonna be. And the screen faded to white for a second. Then the music stopped and it went to black. Then it displayed a white text in the black background saying, Brian's flea screech, as if this was some kind of test or something. We were all a little confused but we moved in closer. Then it cuts to the outside of the house with the same jazz music playing. It then cuts to Peter packing a suitcase, and then it cuts to everyone packing something of some sort as if they were going on a vacation somewhere. Everyone was slightly off I will say. Peter was sad and slightly remorseful as if something awful had happened, Lois looked pissed, Meg looked weirdly happy and her room was more neat and clean, Stewie was scared and was packing his inventions and thinks they wouldn't fit in a suitcase, and Chris looked depressed as much as his dad was and it almost seemed like he had a hatred of his father based on his body language. After they were done packaging, they all went downstairs and gathered up at the door. Then Peter looks at his family all lined up and says, all because of a friend. I'm gonna miss you. It then cuts to a video of a hand on a foggy glass as if in the shower, and in black and white. Then it cuts back to the family, and Peter looks even more depressed and remorseful. Then Brian walks into the room and asks everyone what's going on and why they're packaging. He seems strangely happy and joyful, almost to the point of being out of character. Then Lois looks at him and says, It had to be this way. Then Stewie sticks a sticky note onto his forehead which he takes off and reads. You want to your moral? Then he tries getting his one suitcase with his stuff very quickly, and Stewie stops him and says to him sadly and remorsefully. It's over. Then hugs him. Then the family all rush out the door and gets in the car, and drives away to the airport. Leaving poor Brian alone and not explaining where they are going at all. We were almost thinking this may have been a fan animation or a meme considering the fact that something like this would never happen in the show. But we continued watching. Then it showed the house again, and then it shows that Brian went upstairs and started going from room to room looking at everyone's bedrooms with choir music playing in the background. 
Then he stands on the ledge of the stairs and looks at his paws, and suddenly we see that he has realistic looking human hands and he grasps them, then we hear a weird squeal going off in the background. Then the same hand in the shower from before again this time scratching against the glass. And a text showed on the screen very quickly, we went back and paused at that part and the text said. It's over. Then it cuts back to Brian who came back from the store with more groceries for his stay at home. Pretty soon it focuses on the shop where he puts the milk in the fridge. Then he stops and looks up he sees a flea on the ceiling. Then it falls and he tries to dodge out of the way but then the flea falls on top of his head. Then he tries scratching like a dog and no matter how hard he tried the flea never came off. Eventually he just gave up and tried to live with it. As he was eating his dinner, he made a parfait using rare berries. But when we looked at the berries closely, they looked strangely weird, and it wasn't the animation, they looked like they didn't even belong in the shot. We zoomed in on it and they looked rather realistic, we then realized he didn't get the berries from the store, but from the backyard. Right after the sequence of him eating, he then went back to walking around the house. Then shortly afterwards he started to feel sick. We then realized that the idea supposedly was that he was eating poisonous berries, and he was driven insane at this point due to his family going on vacation without him. Then violin music started playing and it sounded very cell phone quality, and it also sounded distorted, and out of pitch as he started to stumble around feeling sick. Then it cuts to him in the middle of the piano room and he looks down, and then suddenly it cuts to Peter looking horrified at something, then opening his mouth and making the same screeching noise from before. Then it cuts to Brian, and now his face is starting to deform. Then it shows Lois and she also looks dreaded about something as well. Pretty soon it eventually shows that Brian's eyes are now just scribbles. Almost being completely done, his mouth now being way wider than usual, his fur was all messed up looking, and his nose now being very pointy. He then stood at the stairs and started making a screeching noise. He looked scared at first, but then as it flashed all of the horrified faces of everyone else on the vacation, he started to become happier and happier. Then he screeched even more. Then he went into the middle of the room where the rug is and lies down on the floor. He then looked up joyfully at the ceiling and we saw the sun, and the faces of everyone he ever knew flash in the clouds, and the sun looking down on him smiling. Then we hear reversed screaming. Then we hear a crowd screaming and then Brian makes a screeching noise again. His mouth kept getting bigger and bigger as he lays there on the rug continuing to make the noise over and over at the ceiling. And then after a while of doing all of this, then he gets up and then goes into a mag's bedroom, finds a sleeping bag, and then gets inside of it to die from being poisoned by the berries and the flea which made the effects worse. Then as he lays there in the sleeping bag, we see him shaking from the poison. As he dies, he sheds a couple tears as it zooms in on him hyperventilating. While it zooms in him it flashes clips of all of the members of the family and all of their friends being tortured and hurt in many different ways in a dark room with a dark figure within them, playing loud music so they become deaf, breaking their teeth, and even inappropriately assaulting them. It didn't show it, but it was implied and it showed the figure's devious face smiling, while we hear the family and even all of Peter's friends scream in agony all in the same room as one another, then it shows the hand on the window banging and looking like they're dying. While it's cutting back and forth between all of these footages at once, as the scenes flash more, Brian starts to screech while dying in the sleeping bag in that same screech again, and he starts to do it even louder and louder and harder too. Pretty soon the family and Peter's friends all pass out from the injuries, the hand on the window bangs one more time before slipping off, and Brian screeches so much, and then eventually after a couple seconds he screeches for the very last time almost screaming like a girl now, and piercingly loud before he dies with his mouth open and his corpse looking happy. It then shows the house at sunset showing that Brian has finally passed away. Then it plays sad music as it shows a black text that says, Goodbye family and friends. Then it shows the credits with the sad music playing. That's where the video ended. After it ended, we were all so shocked and one of my friends started crying because of how depressing that truly was. I took screenshots from the video so I can tell everyone about this for later. We were so sick and I didn't feel like eating my own buttered popcorn cause I was so sick to my stomach, and we decided to finish the movie part and just go straight to bed. I still have nightmares about the horrible sight of Brian dying, and all the characters of family die also dying in horrible ways to this day after that sleepover. 
The next day after that happened, I was so shocked, and after going back to school, I suddenly got a Twitter message from Seth MacFarlane, even though I'm not following him and he said, I am so sorry that you had to see that episode. You must promise me on behalf of my fans not to tell everyone about this. Even though he apologized, I still don't forgive him because I still have the aforementioned nightmares.